Hello, my name is Shadow Leo. Welcome back for another episode of Shadow Empire. In previous episode, our eastern neighbor over here decided to punch through our line and they did a lot of damage with their troops. So yeah, I think the situation is looking a little bit dire. Now we are going to get in the next round, we're going to finally unlock our heavy tanks and we should at least get one set of units of those and that might be able to stop the enemy advance through here, maybe. Although I suppose the heavy tanks aren't really defending units, but... If by chance we can maybe deal a bit of damage on the enemy, that'd be nice. They might also start moving a little bit through here. Strictly speaking, we might need to send in like the... Well, the militia is probably best to use over here as a bit of a meat shield for the time being. Let's get okay to the next round. Oh, we did most of the stuff already previous round. Oh, they attacked... Uh, they did not destroy the AA guns though. Oddly enough. But yeah, now they're pushing uh, to the west as well along the coast. Right, so we killed 100 walkers and that's about it. Aha! Metalhead. That's the new... Oh, and we unlocked Tank Destroyer. Okay, that could actually be quite useful. Ooh, Zoria Deep made a brilliantly well-executed naval attack on uh, Lima Main. Two ships engaged two enemy ships, uh, lost zero friendly ships while uh, sinking two enemy ships. Hold on a bit, if we have a look at the Maritime Trade Houses now overview, so... Heron Sea has two zones, I don't know where that is. Odin Sea has one, but that is uh, sort of uh, secluded from everything else. And Lima Main was just kind of destroyed or pushed out, so I think... That's kind of interesting, actually. Let's all look at the decisions. Ah, oh, priorities. Now we're going to design something new. I think it might actually be time to get the developing of a new machine gun. Brand new design. We'll go with the high-speed machine gun. And we will go with the combat armor. And that should do... Well, it's going to take a while to do, but... Oh, new elder took power in Odin Sea. Um, guess I could try to support them. Keep them happy. Right, so they tried to push us here with... Oh, right, we did get at least a bit of the machine guns in here. I guess now what we could... Oh, hold on a minute. First, before we do anything else, let's send in the grasshoppers up to Spock and Main here. A bit of a long distance, but that'll be fine. And then we'll raise up the heavy tank. If we can. Hold on a bit. That's the uh, medium tanks. Oh, there's the heavy tanks. Oh, that is a bit expensive, but... Yeah, I think these are going to be worth it. I'll raise that formation. There goes a lot of... Oh, we didn't actually get all of it. Oh, because these, uh, I reckon they take... Um, hold on, uh, replacement troops. Heavy tank. Do they require something else? Well, regardless, it's bloody expensive what it is. So that it will be increased in size. Of course, this route, it might not be able to move too far, but that'll be fine. Uh, can we also get the AA guns now replaced? Or the flat guns? We can get at least uh, one set of those. They can't move into the tundra. At least, okay. They, oh, there's no road in here. I suppose I didn't have a road going all the way there, did I? So that might explain. Or maybe they're trying to destroy some of it. Regardless, at least we managed to replenish the troops in here. We could. Uh, oh, right, so that's some tanks there. All rounders could potentially get an attack off there. Uh, but let's have a quick look at the battles. Uh, where did we have battles? So they did try to do another. All right, that was the attack on the air guns, and then it was the attack on our natives that we, or the alien units, that, or xenomorph units, I suppose I could say. Ooh, there we go, we can actually push the enemy back now. This one still needs a bit more reinforcements. Oh, right, I suppose one of the things I should do is transfer some stuff uh, from the headquarters to Unsung. And, oh. Hold on a bit, how did we... Right, which... Oh, maybe they already sent stuff here. No? The end of last round... So oh, that's what happened. These take so much fuel... That that just emptied our entire fuel. Okay, that's why we can build more than three of them. Fair enough, I suppose. Right, so, oh, there is a stack there. Stack and a half, rather. I know that they're quite strong there. I think we might be able to push in 
a little bit into these two. Try to sort of uh, force them to, or try to lure them to attack us somewhere. And we've got this one that can now finally move in as well to help with some of that. I also noticed that there is someone trying to push through all of that. Did we? We did get this in here. Can we do a air recon or did we just... No, we just moved this here, didn't we? So next round we're going to do an air recon on that one. I guess what we'll do is we'll send this one over here to guard the coastline. My goodness, moving that tank is going to be bloody expensive. But if we can move it in here and stop the enemy attack, that would be probably decent. I mean, if we have a look at the stats of those tanks, they should be pretty... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Thousand hit points versus non-infantry. Yeah, it's got hard defense of 380. Soft defense is only 71, admittedly. Does use bloody lot of ammo, though, when he fires, but... And fuel. Per hex. Yeah, okay. They won't move often. But yeah, that should be pretty decent. Let's uh, have a double look at the assets that we're building right now. So, over here in... Ah, right, we got the metal mine upgraded, so that's good. Uh, in somebody, we got the bureaucratic office upgraded and we got the metal mine built. Spoken Mania, we're not building anything right now. And Unsung, we're not building anything right now. Ooh, actually, what we could do is, uh, since we've got at least some of the stuff available, I'm going to send some colonists down here. We'll send at least 100 workers. Yes, sir. Right to that, sir. And we'll send 500 population. Yes, just to improve Unsung's uh, total population. Just that tiny bit more. Because it's got, well, <laughs> 3,100 right now with the new pops that we just sent in. So not a lot. I suppose soon enough it will probably start growing on its own. And I think what we might want to do is uh, use a pretty much the rest of the metal that we have just to upgrade the... or produce some more ammunition because we did spend quite a bit producing the new troops. But at least the... Right, is this the recon? No, the ice tanks actually. Okay. We've got some bikers over here for recon. And we've got some infantry with RPGs. And some machine guns. A lot of this is actually the tier 3 stuff, but of course a lot of these are quite low on experience, which isn't really helpful in situation. I do actually wonder, if we were to get a dirt road to go behind there, we could potentially... Re oh, we can't move in there yet because that road was just built. But next round we could potentially move this one. Maybe we can pull this one back behind the line. And it can still help a little bit, but I'm thinking about having it, or having the AA units in here, on either side. We may need, well, especially once we get the heavy tanks from that point. And that will then cut off the enemy quite a bit. We will also need to send in someone to guard this area to stop the enemy from pushing all the way through, because otherwise they will probably do that. Okay, there's enemy there. Get back on the road there. And over here, of course, there's not too much happening. We don't actually want to use the artillery right now. I mean... Killing a few of the enemies might not be a bad thing, to be fair. You know what? Yeah, we'll get it in there. I don't... Well, actually, we could do a quick little sneaky range attack. That will get a lot of hits, though. Nope. Oh, we've got one hit, no kills. I also have no idea about this, but I suppose... No, let's just get to the next round so we can do the air recon up there to see where exactly the enemy is and try to push forward. Unfortunately, we're pretty much in a reactive state right now with a lot of the stuff. We don't really have the troop concentration in most areas to really push the enemy. I mean, this is area is one of the areas we've got quite a bit of troops. And we could probably start clearing out these, but a lot of the animals are quite strong. Ooh. Okay, they're trying to do airstrikes in here. They haven't destroyed anything there with those attacks. Oh, they're actually pulling a lot of troops back. Well, some of the troops back from there. Oh, uh, Fur Grounders lost 200. That's good. We built 200 infantry. We discovered some water. And Oil Well Community has been re uh, removed. I mean, fair enough. Did we? Oh, yes, we did get the stuff here. So, first of all, we're going to do the strategic movement up to there. It's probably going to... Mm, it does cause a lot of issues. But not too bad. Oh, too bad. We can move these in. Now let's go ahead and get some more replacement troops. I know that we need some artillery still. Get one of those. Then some infantry. Get 200, probably. Because I'm sure that we'll need uh, more next round. 
And then there's the flat guns, which we need 30 of them. There we go. We got our tanks in here. So next round, we could potentially attack even this stack there, although we don't really have a lot of intel on it. And this one needs to get over here. We could maybe send this infantry as well. Oh, actually, we could probably send tanks down there. And then this could uh, hold the line over here to assist with that. But like the light tanks, uh, they should be able to still deal some damage to the enemy. We should learn from experience. Uh, yes, we don't have a lot of money right now. We've been doing a lot of construction work, to be fair, so that's cost us a, lot, a fair bit. Ah, invest in private economy. Sorry, Deep. Sure, of course. Alien natives are injuring somebody. We will try to explain the things. Ignore our missions. Okay, so we kind of failed that then. Right now we do. Ooh, right, so that's recon units there. We got some tanks uh, along this front line here. I don't know if that is still tanks as well or not. I'm gonna move in the militia over there so that I can't just, you know, really move in there now, especially since we got the metal heads in here, which I reckon are probably gonna be quite effective, except when they do airstrike. But that's why we got the AA guns in here, and that should provide us at least a little bit more security. And I think soon enough, maybe next round, we could try clearing out these tanks here with our own tanks. I mean, if we were to... Well, right now... Technically speaking, even these might be able to break the enemies there. Before we do the attack, let's double-check the stats of the units. They are quite well... Hmm, right, they've got 460 health on the War 3s. Whereas our all-rounders... have 580. Okay, so we've got pretty good. We've got 512 damage. And the War 3s got... defense of 108. Because they got 162. So I think we... You know what? We're going to try it. Probably going to go horribly. Oh, we destroyed one. We destroyed two and we pushed them out. Okay, so this might be the turning point in these combats. Especially since they had to split their troops or spread their troops around a lot more. And that means that next round we might be able to clear out that one. Or maybe even this one. I don't think we want to attack there right now. Although what we could do... Do a quick little range attack in here. They don't get any entrenchment. Oh, and did you get at least a bit of hit on them? They retreated. Clearly not doing enough damage though, but you know. At least it's something. Now we got the hopefully the air coverage in here. I mean technically speaking what I suppose I could do. I'm gonna send this as an air recon in here. So what do we get? So that's the tanks that we just pushed back. I think. Know that there's quite a few bears over here. So are the bears? They got the houses. They got 50 millimeter steel plating, and the wolves have um, 50 millimeter. So it's basically the, roughly the same tank, more or less. There's the cooper wagons there. Oh, there we go. So there's cooper wagons in here as well. How strong are these? They don't have a massive uh, defense. But they got a lot of hit points though. Yeah, it's 50 millimeter steel plating. So it's quite heavy for an armored vehicle or armored car. I suppose if we can get the Blitzer and the Infantry in here, if they try to push through here, we can at least stop them somewhere in this gap. We might want to get a bit of road going in there, though. I, I suppose another thing that we might want to do is get a... Hold on a minute. So over here, we've got a supply base. Ooh, computing node. Right, I think what we might want to do is we'll get a truck depot in here. Or truck station, rather. And it cost us a little bit. That'll be worth it. And that's going to allow us to, one, supply these troops uh, a bit better. Plus also we'll be able to maybe build, build well, I mean, we could probably start building... Oh, actually, we've got a lot of metal right now. I'm thinking of maybe continuing the railway just a tiny bit further. So that eventually we can start building the railway in Spockermania. Now, how close are we getting the heavy industry? Because that's going to allow us to produce machinery sort of uh, a bit easier. 56%. RPG army is now 79. Gas power small arms is already 22%. That's after two rounds, I believe. Uh, machine gun is at 18%. And jet engine is 13%. Personal armor optimization is only 9%. That's not gone up all that much, unfortunately. And we need to reach the commerce of uh, 68. We're four points short of that one. It's not too shabby, though. And we did manage to get a lot of metals now, so that will help us a long way. We're losing a tiny bit of power, but we've got a decent um, chunk of that stored up. We could, technically speaking... Ooh, actually, yeah, well, that's what we'll do. We'll get a bit of uh, machinery. Like 20 machines. 
And then what we could do is we could just quickly build a solar panel field. It's not too expensive. And that's going to provide us a little bit of energy without any input, which, you know, saves us a lot of fuel. Right, but we at least uh, stabilized the stuff there. I'm just going to double check real quick the fronts. Is there troops that could move? I mean, that could definitely move in. How strong are these? The lizard snakes, they've got quite a bit of hit points. Generally speaking, we could try giving these a bit of a run for armor. Oh, hold on a minute. Alright, let's try this. Doesn't look good. We killed one, though. But they are very strong. Because we lost two, we killed one. Not ideal. Oh, but they've abandoned a little bit of this. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try pushing them a bit further in. We did get the metal mine over here running as well, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, good. And over here, the enemies are pulling back a little bit. I do wonder. I mean, they... Ooh, that's quite a small group, actually. They don't have massive hit points. Take these. Maybe the troops over there. Let's see, so these three attacking. Oh, we killed one. Where are um, aliens? Oh, I lost one. Okay, so that was a bit of failure. Not too heavy casualties. Both sides lost 100 men. I'll bring that to the road and then maybe... They must have something in here. Oh, it's over there, yeah. And clear out the road of it, or the oil fields over there at least. And we do know that there's something trying to sneak through there. It's right along the coast. Uh, we could potentially send in the tanks down here to provide at least a little bit of stopping power if, if they run all the way through. Oh, and we could now do the air recon. Oh, wait, is this really just. No, it's seven hexes of range, but it might not be able to do it yet because it doesn't have the full supplies there yet. Yeah, it didn't get all the fuel that it needed. Fair enough. I do wonder. Let's get in here. Let's uh, see if it pushes further down that way. And then, did we already do the range attack from here? No, we did not. Well, let's do that then. I know that they got a lot of infantry in there, but I don't think we're going to get a lot of hits there. Nope, not a lot of hits. I need a bit more ammunition. Another 200. Oh, well, let's get to the next round, and then we can have uh, a look how good our heavy tanks are, because the medium tanks are already performing fairly well against the enemy light tanks. It's just, you know, we're getting over all overwhelmed in numbers a lot of the time, and they're attacking places where we don't have the tanks necessarily in. Oh, there's an air. Oh, we shot down some of the planes. Didn't shoot them down there, but they didn't do any damage either. Trying to attack the militia that we had of the mountains, but that didn't work out for them. So we killed 10 high altitude. Right, we need to replenish the contract. Ooh, quad machine gun. It's a bit tricky to design, but we think it would be interesting to combine multiple MGs to create a deadly defensive weapon. Alright then. That sounds like an interesting idea. So first of all, before we forget, Maritime Trade House contract... Let's click on that one. We'll extend it another... Oh, there's only one round that we're going to extend with that money. We need 525. Okay, let's have a look at the decisions then. Is there something that would give us more money, perhaps? That would reduce the money. Yes, Roaming Thieves. Uh, yeah, you'll have my full support. Ooh, critical success. Enforcement to reach at least 49. That would require an 8 points there. I'm going to say no to that one. Secret Service Council. Yeah, no, no changes there. Custom formation. Uh, what did we do last time? We got 800 points over here. Okay, so we could do basically anything. There's the light armor brigade that might be nice to squeak a little bit. Although there's also the heavy machine gun infantry brigade. Didn't we already have a heavy machine gun infantry brigade tier 2 somewhere though? Yes, we do. So there's a lot of these things that we've already changed at one point or another. I think... Let's have a look at the Light Armor Brigade. So there's 50 Light Armor per battalion. What should we put in there? We could put in the buggies for recon. Um, we could put in like a 
a little bit armor. So we could have like, I don't know, 20 armor and uh, 50 light armor. Alternatively, we could... Ooh, make a nice artillery now. That could also be quite handy. I put in like a 10 uh, guns there. That would still have a bit of uh, steam power, although probably not enough. I think I'm going to put the armor and put in like 20. Copy that. that took most of the customization points, but that's alright. So how expensive would that be now? Probably very expensive. Let's see, replace... Oh, right, so that would be through the... <laughs> Uh, oh, right, uh, it's not even the first page, is it? No? Wait, no, 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 it is. My armor brigade to 2400 of both IP and metals. Somewhat expensive, and I think we'd probably want to put in just the all rounders in there, so that might be. Yeah, 2600 IP and still 2500 metals. A lot of ammo, yeah, okay, that was uh, probably not a good idea right now. Oh, these are having a bit of problems with fuel. Same with these. Could we still do attack with these tanks, though? Yeah, they need a lot more fuel, but let's go ahead and use both the tanks. We'll push them out. The well, the heavy tanks got two kills there. Wait, how... Oh, we killed the... Right, we killed the support thing. The bunker busters. Oh, right, reduce 50% of entrenchment points of the target they attack. Okay, well, getting rid of that one was actually quite important. Yeah, the heavy tanks got a nice little quick test in there in how effective they are. We've got a bit more tanks there. I don't suppose... No, we can't really attack that one. I could move in the air guns in here now. We've got a bit more recon in there. we still got the interceptors there. I think we just needed a lot more fuel, which, you know, we're using in a lot of places. Especially with the heavy tanks, it's not necessarily going to be easy to recuperate from all of that. Nor do we have a lot of mechanisms, right? Why are we even building that requires mechanisms? I mean, we did build up the railway up here, but that's not the thing. We could... Oh, actually, how much would it cost us to continue the railway from there now? It's a lot less. We could actually build it all the way to Spockmania now. Pretty sure we do not have the rail station there, though. No, we don't. Okay, well, that is something we can quite easily do. Get a bit more machinery. And then let's go ahead and start constructing. We'll build the rail station. But it's going to take two rounds to two. Oh, that's four machinery total. Okay, so we may need a bit, a bit more then. But there we go. That's at least underway. I think what we're going to do is we're also going to send in a bit of workers in here to speed boost that. And then this can move in here. We can send in the tanks hopefully a little bit closer. Because a lot of you are doing that, of course. But you know what? I'm going to send in the infantry over here. And this one can pull back a little bit. That one's moving in. We did win the combat against the enemy recall in here, which is quite nice. And they did not do too much damage on us. I mean, if we have a look at the battles real quick. So, we shot down 10 planes there. And that's about it. We didn't actually lose anything else. I do wonder, how strong are these? We don't... Oh. Right, no, we don't know too much about the enemy there. Did we do the recon in here? I don't think we have the fuel yet to do that any further. Yeah, probably not. So I don't think we can do the recon in there. Although, some of it has moved. I think... Oh, no, it's there. Negative to bridge. Yeah, negative to bridge, indeed. Okay, well, let's get some replacement troops in. I mean, 300 machine gunners. Right, so that's at least sorted. Uh, we did... Oh, did we... Oh, hold on. I mean, we did get the... Power production in here now. Yeah, we've got the solar panels now. So that's going to provide us a little bit more power. And in theory, what we could even do is maybe reduce the power plant uh, stuff even further. Just go to 25% for the time being. Especially with the more solar panels that we build, the less we need to worry about that one. We'll have a bit more fuel available for, well, for our tanks mostly. Are these... Right, these are the Raconis troops. I think I might send some of these... Uh... You know what, we can still keep them in here. That's a lot of lizard snakes. I don't think we're going to really beat the lizard snakes quite that easily. I'm going to have some or one of these uh, stay over there, and then this could head into the middle. So we got that almost around it. I'm going to try to put it into the open. I don't know how well that is going to succeed, but that would at least uh, give us a bit more breathing room. Then in the northern fr uh, front, we could probably. They've got no one on the mountains. Get these in here. 
Oh, there's an enemy. I don't think we initially want to push into the... Although the low minus uh, forest mountains would be probably slightly better... Well, technically speaking, it's the same terrain, but we can deny them a little bit of the better defensive positions. Clear out a little bit of that, so their supply lines are going to be a little bit... Although I suppose uh, since it's the natives of the minor regions, they don't actually worry about that sort of stuff too much. But regardless, at least in theory, it's slightly better. Also using quite a bit of uh, food right now. Might be since we're having quite a bit of troops uh, that we've rise, uh, or raised up that is uh, eating through the food. I mean, for example, over here, it's actually not that much food, but tons and tons of fuel. Requested 1,600 fuel. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, getting a bit more fuel production would be quite handy. We could technically speak and get another fuel deposit over the fuel or oil drill over here rather it's a bit expensive but not too much I, yeah i think we'll do that and that's gonna allow us to get the fuel production even higher hopefully these moved in a little bit closer oh and is that oh the trucker station is not completed yet eventually it will be though but we did annihilate the enemy tanks in there if they try to do that again then i suspect that our heavy tanks will get Quite an easy time there. How's the... Ah, right, so these tanks are still green for the most part. Whereas the enemy's got some... Uh, well, actually, they've got some regulars. they got even some seasoned ones here. Not too many, though, but a little bit. But they are focusing entirely on tanks. I like tanks at that. I don't think they initially have heavier tanks yet. Or if they do, they might not have the fuel to run any more tanks right now. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure about that. But that's where uh, my at least uh, optimistic... Uh, estimate, which is probably way off of what the reality is. But I think we can go... Actually, before we go to the next round, let's have a quick look at the overview. So, heavy infantry 61%. Ooh, RPG infantry army is going to be done soon. Machine gun is already 47%. And gas power small arms is 35%. Beyond that, there's not too much changes there. But let's head to the next round, shall we? No, nope, they try to do another airstrike somewhere. Over there, I believe. Another airstrike there, but they're not really dealing a lot of damage anymore. I think if we were to get some AA guns in the vicinity of that, then we could maybe start shooting down some of them. Which would be quite handy. Ooh, oh, we got pushed back there, but we killed some of the lizard snakes. Not enough, mind you, but a few of them. We killed 200 walkers with us 500 infantry. I know which battle that happened in, though, so that was all in the same battle. Ah, there we go, with the RPG Infantry uh, Division, or... Well, technically speaking, it's everything else but a decision, isn't it? But how much is that, just out of curiosity? So it's um, probably on the second page. Okay, so it's... Um, 800 Infantry and 200 RPGs. I mean, it's basically the same as the Machine Gun Infantry, but, you know, a bit more geared towards uh, firing at the enemy vehicles. Let's have a look at the decisions real quick. I'm not going to do any changes there. Right, I saw infantry army. I don't know what that is directly. Mechanized siege infantry army could be probably quite handy. It would have a probably... Well, it would have a lot of mechanized. It would have probably the same amount of artillery, so it's like one or two units. And then it would be quite a bit mechanized in there. So that might not be a terrible idea. It would take a little while to get, of course, but I think that might be a fairly decent on the other hand. We could do armor at army. I mean, that could be quite handy as well. It's just bloody expensive is the problem. But let's get the uh, mechanized siege uh, infantry army. I think that'll be worth it. The other group is making fun of our great nation. I think... Um, let's get his thick enough to take some jokes. Yes, sir. Roger that, sir. Gladiator sensei in somebody. Oh... Right, we could recruit him for 6,000 credits. We don't have that much money, though. Oh, Pollock, I just realized something. We didn't replenish the transport deal, did we? Well, I guess we need to restart that, then. Uh, Maritime Trade has offering to buy somebody population. Uh, no, we need our population. But yeah, that um, got cut off. Let's. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to send in the transport contract already. 
because we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.